Hello music fans, you're watching Death by Unicorn, the channel where I talk about metal, rock, and prog music, so you should follow if you're interested in that type of music. And this is my show called What's New 2024, where I go over new releases that came out over the past week or so. Today I'm going to talk about five releases that came out over the past week and give my quick first impressions on them. And I'll talk about them in my order of preference, starting with Artificial Language and their new EP, Distant Glow. This is progressive metal. It's an American band. And this is excellent. It's got all clean vocals, no harsh vocals here. So it's actually a pretty good beginner prog metal band for people who aren't into harsh vocals uh, but want to hear some more metal music. Um, there's a lot of fast and busy guitar playing here, a lot of neoclassical inspired riffs with arpeggios. If you're a fan of bands like Art by Numbers, which I think shares some members in common with this band, but Art by Numbers has disbanded, um, I think you'll like this. Or if you like the human abstract and protest the hero, um, but imagine those bands with just clean vocals, because uh, those bands both have some harsh vocals. If you just take clean vocals, but that kind of guitar style, this is what you'll have here. Uh, I love the two albums that Artificial Language has done so far in their career. I think they're both near masterpieces. The quality of this EP matches those. Um, but since it's an EP, I'm not putting it at my near masterpiece tier in my, my rating. I'm going to call it excellent tier. Uh, so far, this is probably my number three EP of the year after Toe Hider's Toad Hirer and Persephone's EP that came out this year. These EPs are just all so great. It's been a great year for EPs. They might even end up in my year-end top 50 albums, even though I don't always include EPs in that list, and no EP got that honor last year, I don't think. But I think maybe this year, since these EPs have been so strong, um, I might include some of them. My favorite tracks on this EP after two listens are Rain Follows and Skinwalker. So check this out if that sounds appealing to you. That's Artificial Language and Distant Glow. Next, I want to talk about Elbow and their album Audio Vertigo. This is the 10th album by this band from the UK. It's alternative rock, kind of indie rock, art rock, but also has some progressive rock influences. And I'm putting this in my very good tier listen if you're interested for that artificial language album in my excellent tier i think everyone should go listen to that right after this uh video for this one if this sounds interesting to you definitely check it out it's uh, my favorite track on first listen of this one by elbow was uh lover's leap i love the horns on that song and the following song balu as well i think Elbow would be good for fans of Dave Matthews' band because it's got that alternative indie singer-songwriter rock vibe to it, but it also has some horns and it has some progressive influences. Next, I want to talk about Standards and their album Fruit Galaxy. This is the third album by this band from the U.S. It's instrumental math rock, and it's got some progressive rock influences to it as well. Another one that I'm putting in my very good tier. Listen, if this sounds interesting to you. If you like instrumental math rock, then definitely check this out. If that's not really your style, I understand skipping this one. This is just great instrumental music with great guitar playing. Lots of finger tapping with a clean guitar tone, though, mostly. So uh, not so much like Eddie Van Halen style finger tapping, but more like Scale the Summit in Polyphia style. Um, if you're a fan of Chan and Polyphia and Scale the Summit, maybe a little intervals, animals as leaders from time to time, but more um, on the math rock side of it, then definitely check out Standards and their album Fruit Galaxy. Next, I want to talk about a great artist from Norway called Sylvain. Uh, she's a solo artist, uh, and she usually does 
black metal, kind of atmospheric post-black metal. But this EP called Egg Ur Frama, and I think it's Norwegian, and I believe all the lyrics are in Norwegian, is more of a folk rock EP. It's kind of a Nordic neo-folk rock sound. It still has her atmospheric, her signature atmospheric and post-rock influences in there, but there's no metal or, and especially no black metal shrieks. I'm putting this in my good tier. So listen if this sounds interesting to you. I love her usual more atmospheric post-black metal sound, um, but I like how this still retains her signature atmosphere and post-rock influences that you hear in her previous work. She has beautiful clean vocals here, um, but Sylvain doesn't use any distorted guitars or black metal shrieks on this particular EP. Uh, it's all good music here, but it definitely starts to sound a bit too samey for me with almost every song sounding the same, not much variety. It's very vocal driven, like chanting, like Viking chants almost. I think some distorted guitars and black metal shrieks over top of these ideas could have elevated this album from my good tier to my very good tier. And I think even if she did that and then made a full album of that and sprinkled in some variety and a roller coaster of emotions, that could have elevated it to the excellent tier for me. And I know she's capable of that because she's done that before with some of her past albums. Um, I think it's kind of funny how about a decade ago, I hated black metal streaks, but now when I'm listening to this uh, EP by, by Sylvain, I'm kind of wishing they were here after warming up to Sylvain's earlier music and music by some other Norwegian progressive black metal legends like Enslaved and Isan. I kind of wish there was a little bit more of that heaviness here, but if you want to hear the softer side of Sylvain, uh, check out this EP, Egg Ur Framand. It's a, uh, a good album. And lastly, I want to talk about Nataraja, a new band. They just released their debut album, Spirit at Play. This is a band from the UK. It's another instrumental one. It's kind of like jazz fusion i guess i would classify it as but it's very much inspired by indian classical music as well as progressive and psychedelic rock uh, i think there's a lot of improvisation on here i heard about this band because it features andy edwards on drums and i've been watching some videos on his youtube channel which i think is great so shout out to his youtube channel he talks about Prague music over there as well. He has played with Robert Plant, Frost, IQ, and his newer ba band, uh, Rain. So he's an experienced and accomplished drummer, really great player. The playing from all members of this band here is just great. This Nataraja band here, it sounds like um, a lot of what they're doing is improv, but I think they started each song with like a seed, a kind of composed idea, and then jam on that seed to just like evolve it organically and take it to weird, jazzy, proggy, psychedelic Indian places. So mostly using like Indian scales that almost, it's guitar, but it's almost played in the style of a sitar. Uh, and this album ends with two prog epics that are over 15 minutes in length. So they really have time to like, develop and get you into the vibe of it so yeah this is in my good tier as well i would love to hear this kind of music with some cool vocals over top i think that could elevate it um and i'm not usually so so instrumental albums like this don't usually get up to like my highest rating tiers because i prefer music with vocals and likewise like improvised stuff Stuff that I can tell has a lot of improvisation it doesn't really get up to my high tiers either because I kind of like well-constructed and planned out compositions is kind of the more, more what I'm into. But if you're into that kind of improv, instrumental, jazzy, classical, proggy, psych stuff, 
I think this would be right up your alley. So check this out. That's Nataraja with Spirit at Play. And that's it for my first impressions of these five albums that I listened to that came out over the past week. Let me know what you think of these albums down below. And let me know if there's anything else great that came out recently that you think I'd enjoy. And stay tuned for next time. Peace out.